Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you our file folder games that we have until today. I'm gonna try to share them all in this video. Hopefully it won't be too long. Um, I'm, tr I'm hoping that I can turn some of the file folder games into activity mats so that way I can store them in this activity mats binder that I have. Um, but this is what I came up with. Um, some of the ideas, I get them from principles online and I kind of make them my own version. So you'll see what I'm talking about when I share them with you. So this one is called Place Value. I made that little bus myself out of cardstock. Um, and this printable, these two buses are actually printable from FileFoldTheGame. I'm sorry, FileFoldTheFun.com. And it's the place value all the way up to millions. Um, I kind of made it so you can play three ways. So you can play it like this with these two buses and it's one for each player and you roll a dice and then you have to place, you know, whatever number it lands on. So it's number two. You can write down number two in whatever place you want. And then the other person does the same, he the same here. And then when you're done with all the numbers, you see who has a larger number. I also put this little strip here so you can practice writing down the number word. Um, and then I also added this just in case we want to place with something else. You know, we can do place values like this. I don't know. I just put it here in case we want to play in a different way. Um, excuse the marking. It's just I'm reusing the I'm reusing the the contact paper that I laminated with. And I have this number cards you know, for doing a place value if you want to. Actually, it goes here. Um, you know, you can play a game like this. And these cards, I also use it for another file folder game that I have here. Um, and this one, I made this three um, 10 frames out of cardstock, marker, and packing tape. And you play, you can play with these by itself. Um, you know, you can roll a dice for each color and whatever number it lands on, you can put some um, counters or anything like little bears, buttons, whatever you, you want to use. And you can also play with these principles. These are actually from Confessions of a Homeschooler and this one is from Homeschool Creations, I believe. Um, and then they come there with the little printables and you can place it. You know, you can pick the number or your daughter can, I mean, your child can do that. And then you practice writing down the word. And then here you can maybe do the same or you can, um, you can um, just add them up like nine plus four plus five, or you, and then you can practice writing down or actually placing the number word on the bottom. And I have those number words right here as well. So you can place these any way you want to. This is this is what I mean when I say I like making file folder games in a way it's like you can play any way you want to. I'm just sharing the idea with you. These ones are actually printables. They're all printables. I just use some washi tape to decorate around it. So you'd roll a dice uh, once for this number and then again for this number and then you time that. I mean, you multiply that and then you write down your answer kind of the same thing here. So you roll it once, this is number two, and then roll it again, number two, one time. So you go one, two. So two times one is two. And here kind of like the same thing. So six and five. So six times five, and then you have to pick up six little counters or whatever you have in hand. And then you put a six one time, two times, all the way to five times, and then you count all the counters, and that's your answer. You can use a dry erase marker for this as well. This one right here is called Fun With, and this one I made it myself. Uh, you can use it with anything you want to. I made those little, those little nests, um, and this one's out of contraction paper, and I drew this one, these eggs. Then I went online and I picked, you know, I looked for a, white egg clip or clip art and then i copied and pasted it onto a software like a picture software and then i i think i pasted like 20 per page and i laminated it and that's it 
I left it white, I mean uh, blank, so you can write write on it anything you want. Here are some examples so you can write out um, fam word families like bat, this egg will go in this nest, this word will go in this nest, this one will go in this nest, you know, this one will go here, 30 minus 10 will go here, 25 plus 25 will go here, 2 times 3 will go here, you know, and so on and so forth. You can play this game any way you want to. You can do all math or language arts. You can even do like um, animal classification like mammals, you know, amphibians, fish, birds, you know, and so on and so forth. And in, in the little eggs, you can write down the names of the animals and they can sort them like that. You can sort words that rhyme. You can sort um, beginning sounds. You can sort short vowels and long vowels. I don't know. The possibilities are endless. endless. Um, this last one is three fractions. And I came up with, I mean, I didn't come up with it. I got inspired by a principle online that's called three fractions. and But I made it myself. I used some stickers and some drawing, you know, I made this, the trees myself as well. Um, the only thing I got principle from are these little fraction circles. I picked them from a principle online and just cut them and glued them on the trees. And then I made these little um, circles out of a software on the computer and I outlined it with orange. So then I can write down the fractions and then with dry erase marker and then I can color in with dry erase markers. So then you have to match this three sixths that will go here. Two fourth, that one go there. Two third will go there. And you know, we're gonna start working fractions with this tree for now because it goes all the way to one sixth. I'm gonna teach her, you know, one, one half, and then one third, one, one fourth, and so on and so forth. And she's gonna keep practicing like that until we can finish with this tree right here. And she helped me decorate this with our stickers as well. So these are the file folder games for math. I thought I was gonna share them all with you, but this video is like seven minutes and a half already. Um, so I'm gonna cut it, you know, right here. And I'm gonna share this once in another video. This one, actual language arts and some other um, file folder games. Let me know if you have any questions or any suggestions that you wanna share with me. Uh, I hope that you, this video was helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, thank you for watching.